think there's probably not a more talked about guy in the league than Caleb Wesson. What he's grown into as a player, the way that he can go inside and outside. Obviously, the physical challenge he presents just for a team that has depth of bodies inside. How do you prepare to defend a guy like that when maybe you know it's not going to be one guy, but two or three guys taking on that matchup as the game wears on? Um, you know, he's a really, a really skilled player and um, has a lot of talent. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of guys that are, that are ready for the challenge. And, um, you know, want to play hard and you know, play hard in spurts. And, uh, you know, some, someone's going to be ready to step up for the challenge. Coach was talking about turning and kind of carrying you guys. You know, what are the things you guys have to do better to you know, play more secure with the ball, do you think? Um, i say once we uh, really just move the ball, move the ball, and um, everyone just has to really move and uh, talk really. i say sometimes we have a miscommunication and that can, that can mess things up. Too. So we really just play together and play as one. Yep. Yeah, uh, Rob, uh, just how are you continuing to come along uh, physically at this point in the season and, uh, you know, being able to kind of make some plays late in the game, particularly the alley to Trace, uh, how did that feel kind of confidence-wise kind of going into this game? Uh, yeah, I'm coming along pretty well. I'm really just taking it day by day, really. Um, just work hard in practice, not like it was translated to the game, so I'm really working hard in practice and uh, really just making every play I need for my team. Um, Joey, at this point, I feel like we talked to you guys about Trace Jackson Davis a lot, but just his progress at this point in the season and before we enter Big Ten, how do you feel like he's kind of grown since the beginning of the season, especially here lately? Uh, I think Trace, you know, continues to get better. Uh, you know, he works hard in practice. Uh, he's got a lot of, a lot of physical uh, gifts, and, you know, those continue to, to be an asset for him. But, you know, he continues to, you know, develop his skill. And, um, you know, I think he's starting to realize, you know, some of the spots on his floor, he gets his looks. And, um, you know, I think as the year goes on, he's only going you know, to uh, continue to get better as he gets more acclimated to Big Ten play. Joey, can you talk a little bit about uh, the frustration level of Wednesday night when uh, you guys were down 10 and then the rally to come back and win and and how that may have impacted what the last couple of days have been like practice-wise to, to turn that corner in that game as quickly as you guys did? Um, I mean, it was kind of one of those moments in the game where we knew we had to do uh, – you know, turn things around, and um, you know it's been a been a point of us just to play with energy, and um, you know play for each other these past two days, and um, you know we want to want to you know carry that over uh, to, to uh, tomorrow afternoon. Mike, last question. Yeah, just speak to the last couple of days of practice. Has it been a little bit more intense than than you've seen, um, you know, in the past? Bro. Uh, a little. I mean, practice with Coach Miller are really really uh, intense. But um, it's picked up a little bit, like you said. But besides that, I feel like we just have to come out tomorrow and play with energy you know, from the go and just play 40 minutes like that. Anything else for these guys? Go ahead, Joe. Uh, Joe, we obviously played for Chris Holman. Um, what are some of the things that kind of define his team? So, you know, what do you know about Ohio State just because he's their coach by Chris Holman? Um, they're going to have guys that play hard. They're going to be tough. Um, they're going to be tough-minded and you know, they're going to they're they're play for each other, they're going to play the right way. And, um, yeah, that's the reason, reason why I want to play for them uh, the game. So. So what, what did JD tell you not to tell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks.